Good morning, students. How are you all? Great. I'm Kushbu Patel from Saraswati Group of Education, and today I'm conducting this session for the science subject. Now, in the science subject, we have started with lesson number three, in which we are studying the two system of the human body, skeletal and muscular system. We have completed half portion of the skeletal system. So today, I'm going to start with the last portion of the skeletal system, that is joints. So before I start my session, I hope you all are sitting with your textbook as well as your pencil, right? So in your textbook, please open page number thirty-six, which is our today's topic. What is that? Joints. Now, kids, we know. that we have total 206 bones in our body and all these bones are joined together in a specific manner they are making the framework right they are making a special shape of all the human body but how these bones are joined with each other how do they make a specific structure that all is related to the joints if you see that this hand is connected to the shoulder from shoulder to elbow i have one bone you will be also having from elbow to wrist a bone from wrist to palm and from palm to finger all the bones are joined with each other so the place where two bones are meeting or the place where two bones are joining with each other are known as what it is known as joints there are so many different type of joints available in our body and how it is working that all we are going to cover in this topic but the first thing you need to understand about joint is some of the joints can move like if i say this finger it has three bones it can move right it can move right but some joints are such which cannot move so according to the movement they do joints are classified into two category the first one is the joint which can move that joints are known as movable joints right the joint which can easily move that joints are known as movable joints then what is the other type of joints the joints which can not move like skull right if i want to just move this portion my forehead it is not possible right so there are certain joints present in our body which cannot move so if it is not moving what type of a joint it is known as it is known as im movable joint right the joint which cannot move are considered as immovable joints right so what type of a movable joints and what type of a immovable joints are present we will study here so i hope you all have opened your textbook and you are ready with your pencil so let me start with the reading portion when you kick a football your knee moves in a specific direction suppose you are kicking a ball you want to kick in a particular direction right so according to that you will kick the ball so your knee gothon right will move in that direction and you can able to kick the ball right why it is so see this movement is different from the movement of arms while playing badminton you want to kick a ball with your hand it is not possible you want to play a badminton with your legs not possible that means all the joints all the bones present in your body is having a special feature to work they are attached with each other in a specific manner and that attachment with each other is known as joints see here can you move your backbone in a similar manner like that right the way i am moving my arm can i move my back like that no why because of the type of joints see on page 
Some parts of our body can move while other cannot. I told you that if I want to rotate my wrist like this, I can do. But I just want to rotate my forehead, this much portion, I can't able to do. Right? So some can move, some cannot move. This movement can be bending, twisting or just lifting. Bending like this, twisting like this and lifting like this. So this bending is possible. Twisting and lifting is also possible because of joints. Right? Our ability to bend our arms and legs make it easy for us to do different things. Right? Our body is of having a flexibility due to which we can move our body parts. Especially external body parts we can move. That is due to the joints. Right? We are able to do this because of joints. Underline this. We can able to bend. We can able to twist. We can able to lift. That is because of what? Joints. Two bones are joined together at joints. Right? Two bones. If I say the bone of my palm and the bone of my hand are joined here. That is what? This point is known as joints. Our body has many joints. All joints except those in the skull can move. That means all the joints can move. But only one portion that is our head portion. The skull portion which is having the bones cannot move. If you remember we have seen in the skull that in the entire skull only lower jaw is movable. Other is not. They all are immovable joints. So the joints which can move are considered as movable joints and the one which cannot move that is known as immovable joints. Right? See, the joints in the skull are called immovable. Now I hope you know what is the difference between the movable and immovable joints. The skull bones cannot move. So they are immovable joints. While the other joints can move. So they are known as what? They are known as movable joints. Clear till here? Right? So now we are moving to the type of joints. There are so many type of joints present in our body. But according to your grade, we are going to study only four type of joints. Right? It will be easier for you to understand if you have a clear idea about movable and unmovable. Right? So type of movable joints. We know that skull is the only type of joint which cannot move. So other joints can be considered as what? Movable joint. Right? See, there are four types of movable joint in our body. How many types? We have total four types of movable joints in our body. So one by one we will see. The first one is ball and socket joint. Right? Ball and socket. This two word you may aware it. Right? First, let me show you one thing. Here you can see I have certain things in my hand. Right? So, if I'm keeping this ball inside, it can move like this. In a round motion, in up and down motion, in a left right motion, it can move. Yes or no? Yes? Fine. Now see here. Ball and socket joint. The ball shaped end of bone fits into the cup shaped socket of the other bone. Right? See. This is also one bone. This is also one bone. The shape of this bone is a cup shape. The shape of this bone is a round shape like a ball. So this ball is fixing inside the socket. That means the one bone which is round in a shape is fixed inside the another bone which is having a cup shape. So it is known as what? Ball and socket joint. 
right so they are fixed with each other this one you will consider as the bone another bone right so here these two bones are meeting at one place so the third bone can move this round and round motion of the bone is known as rotatory motion you can say a circular motion as well as you can say it is a rotatory motion right see here this joint allows movement in all direction or you can say in any direction right because it is moving round and round and round so in any direction it can move such movement is called rotatory or rotary motion rotatory means round rotary means also round it's moving round and round and in any direction it is moving so it is known as a rotatory motion it is somewhat similar to the joystick of a computer we have studied about joystick that it is having a fixed board in which one stick is attached and you just have to play the games with the help of that stick like this right so you can rotate that stick in any direction clockwise or anti clockwise right that way you can do so this is the example of the ball and socket joint in our body right the hip and shoulder joints are example of these type of joint right suppose this is the shoulder it has a one bone in which the arm is fixed so you can rotate your hand like this you can rotate your hand like this you can do like this like this so what is that it is because of this joint which type of a joint is available that is ball and socket joint clear even in your legs that is hip portion you can rotate your leg like this you can kick a ball right you can pedal your cycle that is because of the joint so here in your hand and in your hip that means in your shoulder and in your hip which type of the joint is available ball and socket joint clear the activity which is given in your textbook i have explained with using beaker and this ball right it can be moved like this clear okay now moving towards to the second type of a joint which is hinge joint don't read it as a hing it is hinge joint right okay now what do you mean by hinge see when you open your door in your house it is opening in one direction ya to wo andar ki taraf khulta hai ya to bahar ki taraf not both the side right have you ever observed why it is so if you will observe it has a hinges which is fixed at one place and that hinges is moving in a one direction like this one part of that hinge is fixed with the screw and the other part is free where the door is attached so it is moving in a one direction right so that is what it is hinges that type of the hinge joint is also present in our body right see have you ever noticed a door attached to a wall by metal clips called hinges if you have not observed please observe it today right three or four screws will be there with uh, with which it is uh, attached it is fixed at one place and the other place is free it is attached with the door so door can open and close we can do that right so that is what it is hinges these allow the door to be opened or closed right the panel of the door opens and closes only in one direction that means we can open our door in one direction whether inside or outside not both the side right because of the hinges which is fixed from one side we have similar hinge joint in our elbows that means this one is a elbow you can bend your hand in a one direction right can you bend your hand in the opposite direction even if you will try you will break your bone right you can see that it can be bent in a one direction even your leg right suppose this is your leg from knee you can bend in a one direction if the other side you will try forcefully you will break your bone right we have similar 
hip joints in our elbows fingers right you can uh, you know fold your finger in a one direction can you fold it back side no you can fold in a one direction only right like a doors fingers knees and toes right for that also activity is given but we don't need to do it as we have done it practically like this like this right okay so the type of a joint which can move only in one direction like a doors of the houses that joints are known as what it is known as hinge joint clear to you right now further we are moving to the third type of joint which is pivot how will you pronounce it pivot pivot joints right now what is that it may be a new thing to you see in your textbook in our body the pivot joint is present between the skull and the backbone here this is our skull from here the backbone will start right so here this pivot joint is present okay this joint allow the sideways as well as up and down movement we can move our entire skull like this that is because of the pivot joint we can move in the down and up direction we can also rotate in the round and round motion why it is so because of the joint present between the skull and the backbone that is what it is pivot joint right see that is why our neck can move in all direction this is the neck portion right it can move in all direction because of the pivot joint right it is also called rotary joint we have seen in the ball and socket joint that it is moving in all direction so it is known as a rotary motion this joint pivot joint is also allowing us to move our neck in all the direction so this joint is also known as rotary joint right you have to underline it if i ask that what is the other name of a pivot joint you should know that it is a rotary joint clear moving further to the last type of a joint which is gliding gliding joint this is the last movable joint in our body according to your grade right so what is gliding joint see in your textbook our wrist and ankles have gliding joints this is our wrist where you are tying your wrist watch okay this is our wrist how it is moving it can move like this it can move like this even your ankle right it is moving like this gliding joint right what is the meaning of it see the bone in such a joint can glide on one another in any one direction glide means the way you are sliding right aap slide ke upar baithe kaise slide karte ho aise two bones are having glides right ki ek ke andar dusra fix hota hai and the other bone can move so that one is known as what it is known as a gliding joints right these joints are also present in the backbone right we can bend ourselves like this that is because of the joints present in our backbone but which type of a joint is present that joint is gliding joint right they help the back to bend and twist it is also called a planar joint underline this the other name of the gliding joint is what it is a planar joint i told you that we can bend our back because of what because of the gliding joint right jaise koi latak raha hai aur aap usko sahara de rahe ho to how you are making a chain same way in a gliding joints they are holding the other bones and they allow that other bones to move right so that is gliding joints and the other name of the gliding joint is planar joints right kids so we have completed the four type of a movable joints which are they 
ball and socket, hinge joint, pivot joint, and the gliding joint. These all four types are considered as a movable joints. Right? I hope you have understood till here. Now, related to type of joints, we are going to see a one small video. So let's start it. Types of joints. This is Pogo. He is like a stiff ball. If he had to pick up something from the floor, he would have to drop himself down on the floor as he would not be able to bend. Now let us watch him swimming. He looks like a log of wood propelling himself forward. He will not be able to turn or even move his hands or legs. Do you think Pogo can climb stairs? Maybe by hopping from one step to another. But he will not be able to dance. He cannot do myriad things that we do such as write, draw, paint and stitch. What enables you to carry out all these activities? Bending our arms and legs is made possible by joints located in the hard framework of bones called the skeleton. Let us learn more about joints. At the end of this module you will be able to List the functions of the human skeleton, identify the different types of joints, and describe the movement caused by each type of joint. The human body is made up of bones and muscles. Bones form the framework and give a definite shape to our body. They help in movement and also protect internal organs like the brain, heart, and lungs. The skeleton of an adult has 206 bones. They are of different shapes and sizes and are attached to one another by joints. There are several joints in the human body and these different joints allow different types of movements. Let's find out more about types of joints in this module. The bones are attached to each other at places called joints. Most of the joints are movable, but some are immovable, that is, they cannot be moved. For instance, the bones in the skull are immovable because they protect important organs like the brain and eyes. Movements in these areas might harm these organs. The joints in the skull are called immovable joints. Muscles are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons. Bones are attached to each other by strong stretchy tissues called ligaments. When we move our lower arm up, we will feel the muscle in the upper arm contracting and becoming rigid as it has to pull the arm up when you lower your arm, the muscle at the back of the arm contracts, bringing it down. So muscles and bones together help in movement. There are four kinds of movable joints in our body. Hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Let's understand the function of each joint one by one. Have you observed the hinges of doors? These hinges allow the door to move outwards and inwards. The type of joint that works like a door hinge is called a hinge joint. The hinge joints are located in our elbows, fingers, knees and toes. Hinge joints allow both forward and backward movement. Try to move your arm all around. The joint that allows movement in all directions is called the ball and socket joint. The shoulder and hip joints are examples of ball and socket joints. 
Here, the ball-shaped end of one bone fits into the cup-shaped socket of the other bone, which allows maximum movement in any direction. The joint that can move by rotating is called pivot. In the human body, the pivot joint is found between the head and the backbone. It allows the head to move sideways and also up and down. The joint below the elbow is also an example of a pivot joint. This joint helps the forearm move in a semicircular way. The joint in which the bones can glide over each other is called a gliding joint. The gliding joint is found in the wrist where four bones are placed in two rows each. These bones glide over each other during movement. The gliding joint is also present in ankles. Let's have a quick recap of what we have learned. Skeleton is a framework of bones which protects the internal organs, gives shape to the body and helps in movement. A joint is a place where two bones meet. The movable joints found in the human body are the hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. watching this video with that I'm ending my session today here but you know my instruction whatever the topic we have covered today you will read that topic again from your textbook and for any query you will go through this video again we'll meet next time with a new topic till that time I'm taking your leave bye bye